guys! So today I'm going to be doing a video that a lot of you guys have been requesting and that is the everyday slash get ready with me video. So here I am without makeup and my wonderful bandana that I used to get the hair away from my face and uh, here, yeah, here, here I am without anything on. This is what I look like you guys, oh my gosh. So let's just get right into it. It is going to be very chatty since I'm going to be putting on my makeup with you guys. Oh, it's just very bonding, isn't it? It's like very bonding times. So the first thing I do, which I've already done, is I wash my face. This is Tesco's version of Neutrogena's morning burst or whatever it's called. So this is what I use. I've already done that. The next thing I do, which I haven't done, is I use my Olay Complete Moisturizer with SPF 15. And the reason why I started wearing moisturizer is because I'm getting old and <laughs> I'm gonna be 25 soon. So I was like, I don't wanna get wrinkles. I gotta prevent all this stuff. Sorry if you see my cat in the background. She's just hanging out, you know? Also, if I look over there a lot, it's because that's where my mirror is and I've gotta be able to see what I'm doing. So I just put this all over my face and then I use the rest down my neck just so I prevent wrinkles, you know, I gotta try to stop myself. And then I wait for that to dry. I usually just do this for a while. So once that's done drying, I grab my, where is it? Where is it? I got it, it was on the floor. My mattifying primer, it's uh, from Primark, it's the PS Pro. Sometimes I use the Benefit primer as well. It just, I really don't care. I just use anything. My face tends to get really, really oily, uh, especially now that it's summer. Oh my gosh, I have cat hair. This is the problem with having cats. It gets everywhere. So I usually just blend that with my hands and then I just put it on my face. No big deal, you know? And then I just put it all over because I get really bad pores around here in my nose and nobody wants to see that. All right, so once that's done, I go ahead and also wait for that to dry. Gosh, it's so much drying time, isn't it? And then once that's all dry, I go ahead and grab my sponge. I've already wet mine. I got this at Primark for like $3 because <laughs> I don't want to spend like $20 on the beauty blender. And then I also grab my foundation stick. And this is also for Primark. Elf does one as well. And I think Elf also does their own version of a sponge, you know. I just use it because I don't like using my fingers all the time. So then I just go like this, put it all around my face. This is basically what I do. And then... A lot of people tell you not to put foundation around like your eyelids, but I still do it. I make my own rules, you know? So then I just go ahead and just pat that around. I probably don't use this sponge correctly anyway. So this doesn't like completely cover all my spots and stuff on my face. I just kind of like it because it evens everything out and it kind of, you know, just it makes everything look a little bit smoother without looking too like, whoa photoshopped you know nothing that, not that there's anything wrong with that also one thing that i didn't want to mention is um oh i also just blend everything down a little bit just because it's got to blend in with your neck see i did learn something from watching all those youtube videos um i did not start wearing makeup until i was about 21 and when i first started wearing it it was just like eyeshadow and stuff so don't think I'm in any way, shape, or form telling you that you have to wear makeup or anything like that. Um, I just do it because I think it's really fun. And I really enjoyed trying to get to know how to do makeup and all of that. So uh, yes, that's my little rant on it. So the next thing I do is usually my eyes. And I have this Eco Tools brush set that I got for my birthday one year. And I literally use it all the time. That's why it is filthy. My dog has chewed on one of my brushes, but it has stuck by me through everything. So I use this. And today I am going to be using the NYX Dream Catcher Palette. And here it is. And I like this palette because it has a lot of browns and that's usually what I wear like on my eyes and stuff. So I think what we're gonna do today is what I do all the time is I'm gonna use this like little light brown color and this a little bit darker one here and maybe that dark brown one, depending on how it goes. Cause sometimes makeup goes well for me and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm gonna grab this little brush that says shade so I don't know, <laughs> I'm gonna throw some shade and then I'm gonna put that all over my eyelids on both eyes. So we've done one eye and I want you guys to tell me if you even notice the difference when I'm done because I asked Ricky, if you guys don't know, my boyfriend, all the time, can you even tell I'm wearing makeup? And he goes, no, I can't. And then I'm all like, I just put so much effort on my makeup and you can't even tell I'm wearing it. Either that means I'm doing a really good job or 
I don't know what that means, but anyway. So now that I've done both of my eyelids, I go ahead and grab this um, crease brush here. And it's at this little weird angle, and I always like that because it works really well right along the corner of my eyes. I don't use it on all of my crease. So then I'm gonna go into that kind of medium brown right here. I'm gonna grab that, put that on there. Yes, I feel like a beauty girl. This has been my dream all my life. And then I kind of just right in the corner, just start kind of swiping up, up to the middle of my eyeball. That's what I do. You wait till you see me do my eyebrows. I completely cheat on that. All right, so there you go. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. You gotta pat it down. I learned to not blow on it because you don't wanna blow germs onto it. See, I'm teaching you something. By the way, I am in no shape a makeup expert. I am not trying to say I am either. Far from it. So please don't take my advice. <laughs> and then, since I am feeling a little bit risky, I'm going to go in with that really, really dark brown, but I'm only going to grab a tiny, 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 tiny bit. And we're going to put that just right there on the corner, very lightly. And then we'll boom. And then I'm going to show you what I do. In case you're about an eyeshadow like I am, I'm going to show you a little trick that I do to kind of make it all go really well together. All right, so once I'm done, whoa, whoa! I just looked at myself in the bigger mirror. Okay, so the next thing I do, this is, I call this the Saving Grace brush. Let me put this away. Because this brush is a blending brush and it's quite big and it's quite dense. And what I just do is I blend my whole entire eye, just all of it. And I just blend it all together and then it makes all the colors just look a little bit smoother and I kind of blend off as well. So it kind of, you know, whoop, you know, goes out like that. And then I do the same thing on the other side. I just blend all of my eyeball, just all of it, not my eyeball, my eyelid. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, that came out surprisingly well for me. I am impressed with myself today. Woo! And then what I do, because I always get like all the little dust particles, I go in with a little sponge and then I just kind of wipe up like this. <laughs> I hope you guys learned something, just anything, maybe what not to do. That's what I should have called this video. So now it's eyebrows time. So I'm gonna go in with my NYX eyebrow marker. So this is not how I fill in my whole eyebrow. It's just kind of how I mark it out. So kind of like a coloring book. I just kind of create a shape and then I color it in. And I need my little mirror on here again because I can't see because my glasses haven't come in yet. So what I do is I kind of shake it. And then this just kind of, you're not even going to be able to see it because I can't really see it either. But I kind of just go in and draw in where I want my eyebrow to be because I like my natural eyebrows. I don't have anything against them. They're just kind of a little bit bald sometimes. You know, you get the little bald spots and it's just, that's, that's I, I suffered with that my whole entire life. And now that I learned about makeup, I'm like, I don't have to suffer with that anymore. So that's done. Go ahead and put this away. And now I grab my eyebrow powder. So again, um, I don't know where I got this. I think it was Primark as well. All my makeup, mostly, unless it was gifted to me, I spent about like $3 on it because I am a cheapskate. So I just use whatever comes in here, like little brushes that came in it. I know, I know, it's a shame. So it has this little eyebrow brush. I go in with a darker color. This is the wax, this is like the lighter color. I usually go in with a dark. And then all I do is start filling that in like so. And you do this a few times just to fill in my eyebrow and then I'm going to show you my eye I have tricks for everything is what I realized because I love my tricks okay so see how I kind of messed that up right there so because I have foundation on I just go in with my finger and I just wipe it away that's all there and then it's done and then I just kind of like <laughs> that's why this thing is so dirty because I wipe my hands on it all the time so go back in with this. This is gonna be like the longest video I've ever made in my whole entire life, isn't it? So then I am gonna go fill in this eyebrow as well. But like I was saying, I didn't start wearing makeup till recently. I think I started wearing foundation about a year ago. And um, it's fun for me, but I didn't wear it for a long time. And I would recommend that 
you kind of wait to wear makeup because I feel like my skin got worse as I started wearing makeup and maybe that's because I didn't know what I was doing but that's normal people live and learn you know so as you get better with it you'll start to learn new things like I learned that I have to use moisturizer and primer if not my makeup will look very weird um, not really but yeah so my eyebrows are done I think Yes, so now all I do is I go in with this eyebrow pencil that I got in the wrong shade, so I don't use it anymore, but it has that little like spoolie brush and I just go ahead and brush everything and kind of shape my eyebrows at the same time. I always feel like my eyebrows never come out even, but that's because I do my own eyebrows, I pluck them, so I think that's why. So yeah, so now um, next up is like my cheeks and highlighter and all that stuff, so let's see. All right, so now I'm going to start my, we didn't call it contouring because I don't really do that ever unless I'm like really in the mood and I'm going somewhere fancy. Other than that, I just use bronzer and like blush and stuff. So I'm going to be using Hula, Hula's Benefit um, bronzer. This stuff is wonderful. Again, I got this for Christmas because I wouldn't have bought it myself. It's too expensive, but it's like one of those little packages. It's in this really nice matte brown and it came with this like super awesome brush that I love. So I just go in, I dab a little, dab, and then I take off the excess. Oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. And then I'm going to be looking at that mirror now because I, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. And then I just kind of go at an angle like this and I'll show you my trick for this too, unless if, if you're bad at this like I am. And then I kind of start off straight and then I go at an angle like that. And then I do the same thing on the other side. And go like this. There we go. And then I grab not a lot. I shake it off really well, you know, like Taylor Swift said. And then I start doing that thing that I saw on YouTube where they start like, you know, putting it around their face and here. And sorry, my camera died. But what I was saying is I go in with this big, super fluffy brush by Eco Tools, the same brush set as this and I kind of just blend everything together I know this is probably like defeating the purpose of everything I just did but I like it a lot be better because it's a lot more subtle than it just being like boom brown and red and it just being too much so then once I do all that we're done and we're good to go so now it's time for um time to conceal all my little spots on my face before I do that I'm gonna grab my chapstick because I'm gonna be doing my lips soon and I usually do this right at the start but I forgot and I just apply that on my lips just so they're moisturized whenever I decide to put whatever lipstick I might use and um mama oh, tastes so good I want to eat it so then I go in with my concealer could be any I just picked up this one because it was there. I think this is from Primark as well, where I get all my makeup. And I just go ahead and put that on there. And then I have this like natural red mark there, so I immediately cover that. I have one there. And I have one on my nose. There we go. I have one here, but since I forgot to do this earlier, now I'm just stuck with that pimple on my face forever. And then I just use my finger to kind of like just blend it out, you know? Nothing, nothing fancy here. Nothing fancy. And it looks like I've done nothing. <laughs> it really looks like you can still see it. It's still there, you know? So we're just gonna leave that. Why does it look so red in the middle of my uh, eyebrows? I don't know. Okay, so now um, it's time to finish off my eyes. I'm gonna try eyeliner today. And I'm always a little bit iffy with this, but today we're gonna try it and see how it goes. Okay, let's do this. Please, just hope for the best. This, this, you don't ever know how this is gonna end up. You never ever know. I feel like I gotta take my time. <gasps> we did it, you guys. We did it. So I don't like to go all the way to the tip of my eye here. I go about halfway. And look at that. Yes. Okay, now can we recreate that on the other side? That is the real question. Let's try. I usually start off with the corner first. Draw a little line going up. Is that the same? It looks the same. All right, sorry about the neighbor's dogs barking. And let me just try to go ahead and fill that in and see how it comes out. All right, so it was going well for me and then I screwed up. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but I kind of like ruined that little part there. So this is what I do. It's gonna seem gross, but this is what I do for real. Cause you guys know I keep it 100. So I go in and I lick my nail so that the tip is wet. And then I underneath it just kind of swipe up. And then I just, that is legit what I do. Should I cut that out? Should I not leave that in there? 
<laughs> I'm gonna leave it in there. I might save somebody one day. <laughs> so that's what I do. And now that that's kind of fixed, I'm just gonna go in and there we go, swipe that. And I screwed up again, oh my gosh. So we're gonna do our trick one more time and pray. So I need a smaller nail. This is legit what I do. And then I swipe away. Gotta make sure you're just right underneath. There we go. Ooh, I kind of did it. I like to do it really subtle because I don't know how to do it well. So I don't want to have like a huge cat eye and then it's like, boom, ruined forever. So that is done. Now I go in with this highlighter and I just put this right underneath my brow bone and then I just blend it out with my finger and I do it here as well. And I blend that out. Perfect. And then I like to put some on my cheek, even though I have natural sweat to highlight. <laughs> I don't need that much. I just kind of blend that out like that. And then I do the same on this side. There we go. And then I put a little bit here. And then I put some on the inner part of my eye. So not inside your eye. Don't do that. That's not good if you put it inside. And then right in the corner kind of blend that out as well there we go so that's done and I feel like I'm forgetting something oh sometimes I use black eyeliner today I feel like it so we're gonna go in with black eyeliner and I don't again put this all the way through I kind of stopped midway so I just kind of pull down does anybody else get creeped out when they watch people do this I feel like they're gonna poke their eye like if there was an earthquake right now I could stab my eye you know that's very dangerous so, there we go, boom, done. And then I bink a lot to blend it. <laughs> All right, so that's done. Now it's time for mascara. So I go in with my eyelash curlers. I forgot what they were called. And I curl my eyelashes. I'm really bad at this again. Uh, don't know how people do it. So I'm gonna get my mirror once again. And I'm gonna blend, I mean blend, curl. I've pinched myself so many times doing this, it's ridiculous. So again, curl this, perfect. And now we're gonna grab our mascara. Today I'm using Boxum's mascara. I think my sister got it for me at Sephora. I Sometimes I just use Primark, you know, a dollar. I don't notice the difference. And then I go ahead and put that on the top lashes on both eyes. And open my eyes really wide because I always get it on my eyelid and then now I do the bottom just a little bit just kind of dab it on there every time I see the word dab I want you guys to dab <laughs> okay there that's it so eyes are done I think are they done yes you ooh, ooh. so one more thing with my eyes because I feel like I look a little bit tired today I'm gonna go in with this like pale pinkish eyeliner pencil that I got from PS Pro, also Primark, just a fancy name. And then I'm gonna go in and fill in like the rest of my eye from the middle onward. There we go. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. If my eye goes red, it's because I accidentally poked it, but I'm trying to play it off like it didn't hurt. <laughs> but it did, it really did. Okay, eyes are done. We are finished, so now, it's lip time and I'm not sure what lip I'm gonna use hold on let me go grab my other one all right so I have two choices for lipstick I could go with the NYX liquid suede in the color soft spoken which is one of my favorites or I could go with this lipstick that I don't even know what color it's in because I bought it at like Dollar Tree and it's like one of my favorites they're both like the same type of shades so I haven't decided yet but in order to get our lips ready, we are going to line it with this brownie type of color that we have here. It's a lip liner. It's also from Primer. Oh my gosh, that is disgusting. Why didn't I try to like sharpen that before? Oh my gosh. So I go ahead and I just line my lips. And I usually like to stay within my lip area and not out, even though some people do. Because I feel like my lips are already big enough. I don't need to make them any bigger. So I can't talk all day. This is very difficult. Oh my gosh. Alright, so there we have it. I have lined my lips and I decided to go with the Dollar Tree lipstick that I bought. It's a really nice creamy color. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on there and it looks 
almost nude, which I like because I always find it difficult finding a nude for my skin tone. So, I'm gonna go. And then what I do is I go in with my finger and I just kind of blend that in there. So it's all even. And then I wipe it on my handy dandy little thing here that I have. And then what I usually do sometimes is I grab this liquid lipstick that's almost in the same tone and it's in the color nude. It's more like a pink and it smells so good. And I kind of just put that right in the middle of my lips like that. And it kind of looks like a mess right now. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, I'm not going out like this. And I go ma 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 ma, and then I blend that in over the top. So since this is more like, it's almost like a gloss more than a lipstick, I like using this as a base for it. And then we're done. That's it. Am I done? Oh no. So the last thing I do, and this is purely because I get really oily and hot. I take my beautiful bronze and the matte powder beige by Sunkist, and I think this was like $2 or something. Grab this brush, go ahead and get all the excess stuff off. And then just wherever I feel like I get really shiny throughout the day, I go ahead and put this on there because I don't like to look like a pizza like an oily oily pizza and then I just use the rest go on the right and what I do for underneath my eyes I kind of pinch this dab this in there and then I go right underneath my eye there we go and then I do the same thing over here and then I'll just go over everything one more time and we're done oh my gosh so there it is you guys now you know what I do when I do my makeup. And I probably do this very, very rarely. This is probably the, like when I do this, it's probably whenever I'm going out somewhere like the mall or like out to eat. Other than that, I usually skip foundation because I don't really like wearing it too much because I feel like, I don't know, it makes my, feel, my skin feel like it can't breathe. And I try different foundations. It's just a general feeling that I get. But anyway, you guys, I'm gonna take this off, I'm gonna fix my hair, and then I'll show you guys the end result. So my hair didn't wanna listen to me, so I was like, you know what? You do what you want, you will stay just like that. Anyway, you guys, I hope you guys had fun watching. This is by no means whatsoever like a makeup tutorial. I'm not trying to teach you anything. I just wanted to show you guys kind of how I do my makeup personally. I hope you guys found it interesting or at least fun to watch. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!